Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of St. Mary Magdalene, a faithful disciple of Jesus, whose fidelity was rewarded by making her worthy to be the first to proclaim the resurrection of the Lord. She was thus given the title, Apostle to the Apostles. As we honor her in this Mass, let us prepare ourselves to encounter Jesus, the risen Lord, who comes to us in this Eucharist. Let us be sorry for our many sins, and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd, leading us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on, and on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. goodwill. We, we praise you, you we bless you, you we adore you, you we glorify you, you we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. 
you are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son entrusted Mary Magdalene before all others with announcing the great joy of the resurrection, grant, we pray, that through her intercession and example, we may proclaim the living Christ and come to see him reigning in your glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Song of Songs. The bride says, On my bed at night, I sought him whom my heart loves. I sought him, but I did not find him. I will rise then and go about the city. In the streets and crossings I will seek him whom my heart loves. I sought him, but I did not find him. The watchmen came upon me as they made the rounds of the city. Have you seen him whom my heart loves? I had hardly left them when I found him whom my heart loves. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. O God, you are my God, whom I seek. For you my flesh pines, and my soul thirsts, like the earth parched, lifeless, and without water. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Thus have I gazed toward you in the sanctuary, to see your power and your glory. For your kindness is a greater good than life. My lips shall glorify you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Thus will I bless you while I live, lifting up my hands, I will call upon your name, as with the riches of a banquet shall my soul be satisfied, and with exultant lips my mouth shall praise you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. You are my help, and in the shadow of your wings I shout for joy. My soul clings fast to you, your right hand upholds me. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. Please stand. Tell us, Mary, what did you see on the way? I saw the glory of the risen Christ. I saw his empty tomb. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, 
Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. Mary stayed outside the tomb weeping, and as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet, where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord and I don't know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, Tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he told her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, the question that Jesus asked Mary Magdalene best describes who Mary Magdalene is. Jesus asks Mary Magdalene, Whom are you looking for? Mary Magdalene is a woman in search. She was searching for meaning. She was searching for purpose. She was searching for direction in life. She was searching for fulfillment. She was a woman always in search. And the words of our first reading today from the Song of Songs express what is in the heart of Mary Magdalene. I sought him whom my heart loves. I sought him but did not find him. I will rise then and go about the city in the streets and, and crossings I will seek him whom my heart loves. But in order for Mary Magdalene to see what she is searching for, all she needed to do was to turn around. She was looking at the empty tomb. She was looking at the darkness of the tomb where Jesus laid without realizing that Jesus was already there at her back. All she needed to do was to turn around. And when she turned around, she discovered Jesus. She found what she has been looking for. My dear brothers and sisters, like Mary Magdalene, we are also a people in search 
for many things. Like the question that Jesus asked Mary Magdalene, many times we are also confronted with that same question. Whom are you looking for? What are you searching in life? Ano ba ang hinahanap mo sa buhay? And all our life is just about answering that question. Sa ating pang-araw-araw na pamumuhay, yan ang sagot, yan ang tanong na pilit nating sinasagot. Ano ba ang hinahanap ko? Ano ba ang hinihintay ko? Sino ba ang nais kong matagpuan? And that is an important question to ask because that question gives meaning and direction to our life. It gives us a vision to follow. It gives us a dream to pursue. Kapag wala na tayo hinahanap sa ating buhay, baka maligaw na tayo at kung saan-saan pumunta. Kapag wala tayong sinusundang pangarap o pananaw sa buhay, mapapariwara tayo sapagkat yung ating pangarap, yung ating hinahanap, ang nagbibigay sa atin ng direksyon kung saan tayo patungo. But like Mary Magdalene, many times, in order to discover what we have been looking for, we need to turn around. We could not keep looking at the same direction all the time. We need to turn around to see what we are looking for. Turning around means leaving behind our dark past, our bad attitudes, our sinful habits, our evil deeds. Turning around may mean being open to change and venturing the unknown. Turning around may mean leaving our comfort zones and treading uncharted paths. Turning around may mean taking risks and making sacrifices. Kung sa parehong lugar lamang tayo palaging nakatingin, baka hindi natin makita ang ating hinahanap. Turn around and you will see that what you have been looking for was there all along. Like Mary Magdalene, sometimes all it takes is for us to turn around to see what we are looking for. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, let Mary Magdalene be our example and model. She sought and she found. May we always seek Jesus and may we always find Him. Please stand. Mary Magdalene experienced the joy of encountering Jesus on his resurrection. May this glorious event bring meaning and renewal to our lives too, as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church of God may be renewed in the risen Christ and bring his message of hope and love to all the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the community of believers may bear witness to Christ's resurrection through their example and constant conversion from sin. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who are in the dark tomb of sin may find in Jesus the strength and inspiration to rise to a life of faithfulness to the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. 
that those who feel disheartened by the seemingly unconquerable suffering may find in the resurrection the courage to continue their quest for a better life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have passed from this life may be forgiven of their sins. By Jesus, our Redeemer, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our own petitions. We pray for the people who requested our prayers and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Father, may we welcome the good news of the resurrection and our future life with you. Grant, we ask, that we may experience the fruit of his resurrection in us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings presented in commemoration of St. Mary Magdalene, whose homage of charity was graciously accepted by your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to glorify you in all things, Almighty Father, whose mercy is not less than your power through Christ our Lord. He appeared in the garden and revealed himself to Mary Magdalene, who, loved, who had loved him in life, witnessed him dying on the cross, sought him as he lay in the tomb, and was the first to adore him newly risen from the dead. He honored her with the office of being an apostle to the apostles so that the good news of new life might reach the ends of the earth. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Mary Magdalene, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. 
act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May the holy reception of your mysteries, Lord, instill in us that persevering love with which St. Mary Magdalene clung resolutely to Christ, her Master, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.